Okay, in this video we're going to look at the following proposition. So it says there are infinitely many primes of the form 3n plus 1. In other words, primes that are congruent to 1 mod 3. So we're going to have a couple of important tools. One is the notion of a quadratic residue in the form of the Legendre symbol. So let's see, we have a by p is like a question. Are you a quadratic residue? In other words, is there a solution to x squared congruent to a mod p? And the output is 1 if the answer is yes, and it's negative 1 if the answer is no. And then we have a couple of results which we've proved on previous videos. First of all, it talks about when negative 1 is a quadratic residue. So we've got negative 1 by p is uh, 1 if uh, p is congruent to 1 mod 4 and negative 1 if it's 3 mod 4. And then finally we have this quadratic reciprocity which says that you can flip the Legendre symbol with a positive sign if one of them is congruent to 1 mod 4 and you pick up a minus sign if they're both congruent into 3 mod 4. Okay, so now before we do the proof, I want to talk about a little bit of motivation for the proof. So we're going to want to do this by way of contradiction. So that means we want to take P1 to PR to be all primes of uh, the form congruent to 1 mod 3, and then somehow construct a new number which is congruent to 1 mod 3, which is not divisible by any of the pi but because of these notions of quadratic residues, um, it is divisible by some other prime of the form uh, 1 mod 3, which means we've got a new prime of the form 1 mod 3. So that's the idea for this proof, and that's actually the idea for most of these elementary proofs um, involving primes of a certain type. I've got a couple others on my channel, um, but I'll erase the board and then we'll look at the proof. Okay, so now let's look at the proof. So like I said, we're going to do it by way of contradiction. So by way of contradiction, let's assume that the list uh, P1 up to PR is all primes that are congruent to 1 mod 3. So in other words, we have a finite list. And the next thing that we want to do is consider the following number. So n is equal to 2 times p1 up to pr, that product, and then we're going to square it, and then we're going to add 3. So now, the important thing to notice is the following, and that is that this is congruent to 1 mod 3. So I won't check that uh, in detail, but that's pretty easy to check using uh, just like um, elementary techniques. Now what we'll notice is that uh, pi does not divide n for all of these i values from 1 to r. And let's see why. If pi does divide n, um, that means that pi must divide n, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, n minus p, 2p1 up to pr squared. So notice it divides each of those, which tells us that pi divides 3. But recall that pi is the of the form 1 mod 3, but the only divisors of 3 are 1 and 3. So that means pi is 1, but that means it's not prime. Or it's 3, but that means it's not of this type. So that gives us the contradiction. So that means pi, uh, none of these pi divide this number n. Okay, so now let's let p be a new prime. We don't know its type yet such that um, P divides N. Okay, great. But now notice what that tells us is that um, N is congruent to 0 mod P. So that's the same thing as saying P divides N. But now that's the same thing as saying 2P1 
one up to pr squared is congruent to negative three mod p. Just like setting this equal to zero mod p and moving the three over. But now notice that this tells us that negative three is a quadratic residue mod p. In other words, the Legendre symbol minus three by p is equal to one. Okay, and that's actually going to be the source of our issue. So I'll clean up the board, then we're going to stop, start from that point. Okay, we're back. So let's see where we are in the proof. So recall we set n equal to twice the product of all of our primes of the form 1 mod 3. We squared that, we added 3. That gave us a new number which was congruent to 1 mod 3. That new num number is not divisible by any of our primes, but it must have a prime divisor. That prime divisor might be itself, but it must have a prime divisor. And we argued that if it has a prime divisor, then negative 3 is a quadratic residue mod that prime. In other words, this Legendre symbol uh, minus 3 by P is 1. So now what we're going to do is use the notion of uh, quadratic reciprocity in order to finish it off. So let's uh, break this into two cases. So case number one um, is P is congruent to 1 mod 4. And then case number two is P is congruent to 3 mod 4. Okay, good. So now if P is congruent to 1 mod 4, um, then we can do the following. So we have minus 3 by P. So that's going to be equal to uh, minus 1 by P, 3 by P, by a multiplicative property of the Legendre symbol that I didn't state here, but I have a, a video where we prove that. But now we know that since P is congruent to 1 mod 4 and this result, we have this Legendre symbol equals 1. So this gives us 3 by P. Okay, good. And then notice that we can flip this and we do not pick up a minus sign. And we do not pick up a minus sign because we know P is congruent to 1 mod 4 and this rule of quadratic reciprocity. So we'll do the flip here. So we'll do P by 3. Okay, good. But now we know P by 3 is equal to 1 by what we proved up here because that's what we started with on the extreme left-hand side. Okay, good. But now what we'll do is look at all of the quadratic residues mod 3. And that's not too hard because we only have to square two th things mod 3. So we'll do 1 squared and notice we get 1 mod 3. And we'll do 2 squared and notice we get 4 which is 1 mod 3. So notice the only quadratic residues mod 3 are um, 1, right? Because 1 squared is 1 and 2 squared is also 1. But what that tells us is that P must be congruent to 1 mod 3. In other words, we have a new prime that's congruent to 1 mod 3 that divides n, and it can't be on our list because of this second bullet point, so we have a contradiction. Fantastic. Now let's move on to uh, case number 2. So we'll do the same kind of thing. So we'll take start with 3 by p, and now we can pull that apart into minus 1 by p, 3 by p again. But now uh, we know that negative 1 is not a quadratic residue from this result over here. So we pick up a minus sign and then we have 3 by P. And now we're going to do the flip using uh, quadratic reciprocity. But now notice both of these are congruent to 3 mod P. So we have to pick up a minus sign. And that minus sign is going to cancel this minus sign that we got from the other part. So this will give us P by 3, which is equal to 1 because we assume that this extreme left-hand side was 1. But now we are into the same contradiction that we had in the last case. So I'll just end it there and say we have a contradiction.
Okay, good. So, like I said, I've got three videos now where I do uh, primes of a certain form, and they all use slightly different techniques. I think this is probably all the videos I'm going to do of primes of this form because I want to save other forms for my students' homework problems, and I'm sure your professors want those to be saved as well. Um, <clears throat> but between these three videos, you should have like all the techniques that are necessary in order to prove that there are infinitely many primes of a certain form. Okay, good. This is the end of the video.